part two now. So, okay, guys, we are in part two of my interview with Nicole because due to audio issues that happened before. Yeah. So before we got off the line and before technology decided to destroy this interview, <laughs> we talk, I was going to bring up a comment about your World Kindness Day post. It was one of the most important posts from a reality television star this, that was posted this year. And you, yeah. on that one, you've talked about the lessons you learned from your 15 fellow house guests. Yes. And what captivated you to do this, to post that? And also, what was this response that you received? So, you know, Zing got it right. You know, I don't have a tremendous amount of friends in my life. You know, I have my family, I have my coworkers, I have like my one true best friend, I have some family friends. But going into the house was such a different experience. It was just me, just Nicole, getting to meet 15 people. And I know a lot of people go, oh, that's so naive, that's so like childish, that they're like, oh, they're all my friends. But I got to know each of them to some extent, to some level. And all season, I was like, you know what? After this season, I'm going to send them each like a thank you card and why. Because, you know, I'm an educator, and as an educator, you're a lifelong learner. And as a lifelong learner, it's not just about academic stuff. It's about self-reflection and learning about yourself. So I did learn from each of them. Like, I, always, I say what I mean. I mean what I say. If I didn't feel that way about them, I wouldn't have posted anything, you know. So I was like, you know what? Instead of writing them thank you cards, I'm going to post it because of the controversy of the season and because maybe some of them are not – all perceived that well. Maybe I'm not perceived, you know, who knows? So I was like, you know what? I am posting my genuine thoughts about each of them and how it's received is how it's received, but I just need people to know my truth and how I genuinely do feel. So I, I, I spoke from the heart and I said what I wanted to say, what I meant about each and every one of them. And the response to it meant so much to me because I had all my house guests respond and I thought that was such an amazing thing to see that in the comments you have all our house guests, despite any controversy, despite any fights, everybody had something nice to say, like, you know, thank you to me or thank you to each other. And, it, like, I loved seeing that, the fact that everybody came together in my post to, like, you know, communicate. And the fan responds, like, fans going, like, oh, wow, like, that's amazing that... Like, I'm going to be honest, like, it's amazing that Bella taught you something, that Jack taught you something, you know, people that you could argue I wasn't particularly close to as, you know, obviously I was close to Cliff, or obviously I was close to Ovi. So, it was amazing how fans go, oh, wow, like, yeah, people, even my enemies can't, not that I had any enemies, but even my enemies can teach me something, even somebody I didn't like can teach me something, even that person that annoyed me at work can teach me something, and I had a lot of fans reach out and say, like, you know what, yeah. I, everybody can teach you something. Everybody, there's a learning experience in everything. Everybody contributes. And that's just what I wanted to show. Everybody contributed to that show. Everybody contributes to this world. They, like, because there's, there was a lot of hate after the season. And there's no need for that. Like, there's love for everybody. There's love from everybody. And I just want to make sure I captivated that and shared it. You did a phenomenal job. Because right now, as you notice, we had a lot of a lot of news has been broken up. What happened with the Survivor this season? And I got to say, you guys have handled this so your stuff and your pat so much better than what's going on right now. Wow! Yeah. And I'm gonna knock on guys because of what's going on with that controversy. I'm going to let the other reporters, Billboard magazine, Hollywood Reporter, Rob has a podcast. They have done a phenomenal job. I'm just Jacob from jakestake.com, and i rather report on stuff that makes me happy and not stuff that has not been controversial. So let's continue because – I like that. Let's continue. So as we wind, wind down part two of this interview, we I want to ask you about – there's a lot of people that have been, like, saying about with Big Brother 22 coming back, and people are starting to get ready for the audition process and ready to send everything to Robin her, Cass and her team. So what are some pointers that you have? Okay, I'm ready for this. <laughs> so the number one thing, and I know this is so cliche and people hate hearing it, is be yourself. And that's like, oh, no, shit, no. How do you know if you're being yourself? If you, let's say you're sending in a video or you go there in person, it should be you as if you're talking to yourself in the mirror or you how you talk to your best friend or you how you talk to, like, 
that close person in your life, like me, it's how I talk to like my sisters. Because my first audition video, I was very, like, this is a job interview. Hi, I'm Nicole, and I was top of my class in high school and top of my class in college, and I'm a hard worker. It's not a job interview. If you curse, curse. If something pisses you off, tell them. It pisses me off when. If you have a quirky laugh, laugh. It's okay to laugh. If you snort, it's okay to snort. Not drugs, but, you know, while you laugh. <laughs> you know, so just be you unapologetically, like, if you move your hands a lot, don't be like, oh, well, they're going to think that's weird, so let me sit on my hands. No, like, use your hands. Don't don't hide your accent. Just answer as you answer. If they ask you a question, let's say, I didn't go in person, I sent a video. But if you go in person, they ask you a question, don't say, oh, well, how could I answer that would get me on the show? No, right there, they're going to see through what you've done. Answer how you answer. If you, like, say, if you don't like the question, go, I don't like that question. That was a fucking stupid question. And explain why it was a stupid question. If you like the question, say, that was a great question. You know what my answer is? And just start telling a story. They want people that will go in that DR and present a story that America's going to, or in Canada, and everybody can say, damn, that's a great story. So be you 100% always. Don't think how you want to be perceived. Just be you, and it will be perceived. Awesome. Now, the la- ne- my second to last question. What does 2020 have in store for you? Have you thought about what you want to do for 2020? Um, to be honest, I am riding the wave right now, just kind of going with it. But um, I have some opportunities coming up in the new year that I'm hoping kind of work out. So I don't want to jinx anything just yet, but like... You know, me and Eric are doing a gingerbread making competition in December. And guys, so, just to let you guys know that Eric is Eric of Your Reality Recaps. So Eric from Your Reality Recaps and I are doing a gingerbread cook-off, decorate-off. So wink, wink for the new year. Hopefully uh, that comes, you know, becomes its own thing. Um, and then another meet and greet might be coming down the pipe with myself and Sam. So stay tuned for that. And... I'm hoping to book some more meet and greets. You know, I love meeting the fans. I love, I have a lot of people reaching out like, come here, come there. And I'm like, yes, if venues reach out to me, I'm there. I know what it's like to be a fan. I know what it's like to want to meet people. So if venues reach out, I am there. So right now I'm just kind of riding the wave wherever it brings me. And if the wave ends and I'm back on shore, that is fine. I'm going to go back to preschool and I'll be happy. Um, But for right now, just riding the wave. Awesome, and I have a feeling that people are going to be coming to you when it comes to commentary. Wow. In the future. That's my... Brother, I, listen, I have a lot. I tend to talk a lot, and I, I think I just like hearing my own voice. I like to hear my own opinions. <laughs> but, yeah, I would love to get my commentary on, you know, like, I know The Circle's coming out, and Big Brother. I'm there. <laughs> Okay, speaking of circle, I was like looking on social media. Is like, is Mel and Rockstar doing this? Because for those of you who don't know, that Mel Brown is a very influential Big Brother so inf- influencer when it comes to meeting with fans, and of course, we all know Rockstar. Yes. So Mike, and, like, I was looking at their social media, and, like, saying, are they on the circle? I don't know. That's a good question. I actually, because I had, I, I've heard about the circle a little bit, like rummaging's of it. And then people, uh, it was finally explained to me that, like, oh, it's on Netflix, it's going to start in January, and it's like Big Brother, but they're in separate rooms with computers, and I'm like, what? Like, I need to tune in and see what this is. Like, I'm really, really interested. I really, I'm curious about it. Awesome. So, Nicole, my last question is, where can my listeners find you? Oh, sure. Okay. I finally have this down, Pat. I screwed it up in a lot of podcasts, so here we go. On Instagram... You can search Nicole Anthony because I finally switched my name or at Strong Island Nicole. And then I'm also on Twitter, again, Nicole Anthony or at Strong Island NI2 because Nicole wouldn't fit. (laughs) And I could potentially have a Facebook account coming at some point. So look out for that. I don't really know when because I'm not really good with that kind of stuff, but it could happen. But yeah, but you can also find me at my house. So please don't find me at my house because that's creepy. And my P.O. box is in my social media bios. Yes. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. So, Nicole, thank you so much for coming. Uh, for coming, I really appreciate it. And, guys, you can, check, you can check me out on social media. 
That is jakestake.com, J-A-K-E-S-take.com. That's a website. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's on Jacob Elishar, J-A-C-O-B-E-L-Y-A-C-H-A-R. And Nicole, I am so happy for you. You are incredible, and I think this is a great start for you. Oh, I appreciate that so much. Thank you for having me. You're so welcome, and have a great, have a fantastic day, guys. Bye. Hey. Bye.